Hello fellow traders, now welcome to a new trading week. Okay, uh, we are in the month of July and uh, in today's video, I'm going to prepare you for the new trading week ahead. Okay, so hopefully we have a good start to the month of July. Okay, so as always, uh, we always start with the uh, Forex calendar analysis. So as you can see over here, um, today is the 5th of July and I will be preparing you through uh, the charts, okay, we'll just go through some of the charts for uh, some of the major currency pairs uh, and prepare you for the trading week ahead. Okay, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay, give us a thumbs up so that, you know, it helps us to reach uh, more traders like yourself, okay? So right now, uh, we are looking at the Forex calendar and uh, this week, we see that um, it's kind of light in, in terms of the events, you only have the Aussie uh, rate statement and the uh, CAT news over here. Okay, so I think it's going to be a good week. Okay, hopefully the market start moving. Okay, because the past uh, three weeks, the market hasn't really been moving much. Okay, so uh, this week, hopefully, um, you know, since we do not have much uh, conferences or, or as well as uh, statements, you know, like uh, ECB uh, press conferences or FOMC meeting minutes, I, I do think that this week is going to be a week which uh, the market is going to move. Okay, so definitely pay attention to the Aussie pair as well as the CAT pair. Okay, so let's go into the charts and uh, let's talk about uh, the different currency pairs. Okay, so uh, in this video, I've prepared uh, this uh, kind of this watch list, which uh, I'll go through each of these uh, pairs to analyze. Okay, so the best way to do it, uh, best way to benefit from this video is to uh, take down notes. Okay, uh, don't just watch this video. Uh, take down notes and uh, record the key levels uh, that you should be paying attention to. Okay, because uh, there's no use in watching this video uh, if you just watch it and you do not take any notes and you do not pay attention to the levels that are highlighted in this video. Okay, so we always start with DXY. Okay, because uh, we want to know the direction of dollar. Okay, because dollar is the main currency pair. Okay, so DXY, uh, we, we are seeing some form of a resistance over here. Let me just draw it for you. Okay, 97.64. Okay, it's the uh, kind of like the recent high. And you kind of see like there is a double top forming. I'm not too sure if you can see it. So let me just draw it out for you. Um, just a moment. Okay, so you do have this uh, first top here. Okay, and then uh, you have the second top over here. Okay, so of course, uh, if you have a double top, then the neckline is very important. Okay, because if the neckline is broken, uh, then you should see a price challenge the recent low, which is uh, over here. Okay, let me just get rid of this. Okay, so right now we're kind of like still in a ranging situation. Okay, so it's a bit hard to predict uh, where the market will go. Okay, but uh, do take note of uh, this, uh, you know, this level over here. Okay, this trend line, if you draw this trend line, uh, then you, you kind of see that kind of broken it's kind of broken and you know price just retested it okay so perhaps uh you know price might just uh, come down to test the low okay but uh I, I do do have to caution that this week um currently right last week's close okay uh, it, it's in the middle of nowhere okay you, you are you are trading in between the uh, lows and the high right you kind of like in the middle of the range so you know price can just go up and down up and down without going uh, anywhere Okay, so uh, anyway, we, we don't really trade into a DXY straight. Uh, this is the dollar currency index. Okay, we don't trade directly into DXY, um, but probably you expect um, dollar to be mixed. Okay, Not, nothing too concrete, right? You don't see it a break out or break up or break down. Okay, so we just want to take note of uh, these two key levels, which will be 97.64 and 96.57. Okay. So just a gentle reminder, okay, we do have a free day trading guide for you. Uh, if you have not downloaded it, okay, if you are still struggling with trading and you know you need some form of trading strategy that works, then make sure you check out the link in the description, okay? Uh, the book is free, a PDF is free, all right? It'll get you started, okay? So let's move into uh, Euro Dollar, okay? So Euro Dollar, as you can see, it's been consolidating for um, quite some time, right? Since uh, about um, 11 June. So the practically for the whole entire month of June, it was consolidating, okay? And you can see that uh, there is a lot of support coming in here, where you can see this whole, um, let me just draw it clearly, okay? You can see all these uh, lower wicks uh, penetrating through the level, but failing to close below it, okay? If you look left, you do see that there's a level over here as well, okay? So it's not surprising because uh, it's kind of like a 
inverted head and shoulder. Okay, let me just draw it for you so that you can see it clearly. So this will be the left shoulder. Sorry, this will be the left, uh, yeah, left shoulder, sorry. This will be the head and this will be the right shoulder. Okay, so it's, it's very tight right now. And what you have is, so you have this uh, descending trend line. Okay, so uh, depending on how you draw it, if you know you draw it, you know, you draw it touching the body, you draw it like that, or you draw it like that, okay, it makes a lot of difference. So for me personally, I'm going to draw it like that because there is a spike high over here. So I'm going to assume that, you know, this and this uh, point swing highs is a better point uh, because uh, this level has been tested, okay? So right now, price is, you can see it's, it's very narrow, right? You have resistance at uh, this level here, okay? 1.1303 and you have support uh, coming in at about 1.12 around digit level. So it's a very narrow range, okay? Uh, I don't like to trade trade it because uh, you can't really catch a very nice trend you know when price is consolidating like this okay so what I prefer to do is I prefer to wait for a breakout in uh, either direction okay so uh, be patient next week uh, do not rush into trade okay I know the past three weeks has been very stressful okay just doesn't go anywhere it's just very slow right but uh, just be patient because you know after the consolidation comes a big breakout and that's where it is the easiest to make money Okay, you just need to be patient. Just wait for the market to come to you. Do not force the trade. Okay, just let the levels be broken first and then we will look for entries once the levels are broken. Okay, so you don't have to trade every day. Okay, even uh, our team, uh, we are so guilty of that. Sometimes we trade more than uh, we should, even though, you know, like we, we feel that this is not a good way to trade, we still trade. Okay, that's a bad, that's a bad thing. Okay, we are not immune to that. Okay, uh, we are just like you. We want to make money. But uh, we do our best to, you know, reduce our lot size when uh, we know that the market condition is not so good, right? We don't, we don't trade so big when we, we are not too aggressive, especially in circumstances like this, uh, when the market is not clear and the market is still consolidating before it breaks out, okay? So you just want to be sure not to trade too big. If you really have to trade, right? If you cannot control yourself, you need to trade, then just um, trade smaller, okay? Now let's talk about uh, pound dollar. Okay, so uh, pound dollar, the previous week's analysis, you can see that uh, previous week I did this analysis. Uh, the analysis is still here and it's still valid. So last week I was talking about how uh, this was a demand zone and true enough, you see. Uh, just a you know, reminder, last week I was saying that I was very hesitant to shot into this zone because we are at uh, the demand zone. Okay, and true enough, okay, true enough, uh, this level helped. Okay, and that's why uh, you want to be watching, uh, you know, like the, this video, like videos such as this where I prepare you for the trading week, right? Because if you have watched this video, then chances are you wouldn't have shorted, uh, you know, pound dollar and, you know, you wouldn't have lost money, right? So that is the value of watching this video, okay? That's why you want to really take notes, you want to write down level and you want to make sure that you watch this video to the end, okay? You want to get as much... Uh, you know, insights onto how we analyze the market as possible, okay? So one interesting thing about uh, this chart uh, we can update right now is that the trend line has been broken, okay? If we do a trend line, uh, you can see that uh, this trend line is very nicely fitted, right? It touches this, it touches this, and uh, you'll finally have a breakout, okay? So what happens is that price is currently resisted at the uh, 1.2517 level, which is the previous swing high, okay? It's consolidating over here. Okay, so the way I see it is that uh, I do believe that price can break out. Okay, but uh, as I said, uh, it's better to wait for price to break out first than uh, you buy it. Okay, you do not just uh, try to predict the breakout. Okay, I, I do not like to do, uh, you know, try to predict the market. I like the market to come to me. Okay, so uh, this is a very bullish structure because you have a bullish, you know, bullish movement, small retracement, bullish uh, retracement. So the next likely uh, direction would be this way. Okay, but uh, as I said, you're heading into resistance. So you do want to wait for something like a, you know, breakout or retest, something along this line to start um, buying this currency. Okay, but I'm seeing a pound dollar to be very bullish. Okay, I will be looking for uh, opportunities to buy this uh, pair uh, when the market is open tomorrow. Okay, so just take note of these levels. Okay, now let's move to gold. Okay, so gold is another pain. Okay, it's literally a pain in the ass because it hasn't been moving since, you know, since like 23rd of uh, June. It's just been consolidating. Okay, and what's, you know, really annoying is that um, 
you you know price consolidated this entire zone which has been since you know april to june it has been consolidating and you know when it broke out you expect it to you know start running like you know after this retest you know just start going up but uh, it didn't it started consolidating here again okay so this is very frustrating okay it's not moving but nonetheless i think uh it's a very clear market structure that uh, you want to be buying. Okay, uh, you have a high, you have a low, you know, you have a higher high, you have a higher low. So there's no reason why you should be uh, selling. Okay, no reason at all. Uh, now, the only question is uh, where do you buy the, uh, you know, where do you buy the currency? Sorry, where do you buy this uh, gold? Okay, so let's go into... Uh, the H4, so I'm just trying to connect this uh this low with this low to find some good levels to look at. Okay, maybe I'll just uh, fine tune it in the H4. Okay, so uh, let me just okay, let me just redraw it. Okay, so you take this low and this low. Okay, you can see that uh price briefly uh closed below, but price didn't close below this uh, spike low. Okay, so um it's quite clear that uh gold is still supported. Okay, but uh, do note that there is this structure here which I don't really like. You have the left shoulder, you have the head, and you have the potential right shoulder. Okay, so right now price is resisted by uh, the left shoulder which is uh, over here. Okay, it's resisted currently. Okay, if you have problem finding this line, look at the left shoulder, change to the line chart, and uh, you just, you know, adjust it, and then you turn it into back to the candlestick, and then you can realize why price stopped here. Okay, so price right now is supported, sorry, resisted, okay, but at the same time supported by this, uh, this trend, trend line here. So it's a very tricky scenario, okay. So what I want to see is that uh, I want to see a nice uh, close above uh, this entire zone, okay, ideally above this candle high. Uh, and if that happens, then uh, we should see the recent high being challenged over here, okay. And if that's broken as well, then uh, we should see it go up, okay. So this goal, I'm really very bullish on it. Okay, even though if price breaks down, okay, I'm not too keen on shorting it because as I mentioned in the daily chart, uh, we are in a very clear uptrend. So uh, I don't want to be do doing this counter trend trade. Okay, I just want to wait for the bulls to show up and I just want to buy together with the bulls. Okay, so just take note of these levels. Uh, once 1785 is uh, broken, then uh, we should see a very nice uptrend, uh, you know, resume. Okay, let's talk about uh, Kiwi dollar. Okay, so Kiwi dollar, um, Kiwi dollar, uh, we are also in a nice uptrend. Okay, so we definitely want to buy. And what we have over here is we have like a triple bottom. We have your first bottom here, the second bottom, and uh, the third bottom. Okay. Now, depending on how you draw your neckline, if you draw the neckline at this uh, spike high over here, then uh, price has not broken uh, this uh, triple bottom pattern. But if you draw it uh, somewhere here, you draw it, just at the candle body, then uh, you, you do think that this pattern has already been broken. Okay, so personally, uh, I, I would draw it kind of more like this level instead. Okay, uh, but I would take note that this is resistance. Okay, so right now we are very close to resistance. Okay, uh, in fact, you see on Friday, just before the market close, uh, you have this spike uh, low. Okay, so I will adjust my line and put it like that. Okay, but nonetheless, we're right, at resistance. Okay, so what I want to see on Monday is I want to see price stay above uh, this level. And if price stays above this level, then uh, I can reasonably conclude that uh, this pattern is broken. Okay, this pattern is broken and this uptrend is going to uh, resume. Okay, so if this level is broken, then uh, you can see that this recent high will definitely act as a minor resistance. Okay, but I do expect this uh, resistance to be broken and then you'll see more upside. Okay, so just to be sure, just to be sure uh, you got the levels right. Uh, this level is very important. I will not buy until this level is broken. Okay, that's very important. Okay, uh, do not just buy it right into resistance, right? Make sure that this level is broken first. If you want to buy, then you set your stop loss uh, below here. Okay, then that should be a good trade. Okay. Okay, let's move on to uh, dollar cap. Okay, so dollar cap wise, uh, you do have a kind of like a double top here. Okay, let me show it to you. You have the first top here. You have the second top here. Uh, in my previous videos, I was talking about how this is a supply zone. Okay, 
I'm not too sure if many of you recall the video that you know I recorded, but I warned about this zone over here before. Okay, I I I warned that you know we're in a downtrend, but I'll be keen to buy it up, right? But be very cautious about this uh, supply zone. And uh, if you just widen it a bit, okay, you take this low in count, then price barely tapped it. Okay, so uh, I'm definitely more bearish now. Okay, so we have the first uh first top here. And the second top, which uh, whip out a lot of traders, traders who you know bought the breakout, would, would have been uh, you know lost money or they would be in the red now, okay. So if this is a double top, then uh, you want to make sure that you know where the neckline is. So this is the neckline here, somewhere around this zone, okay. So what happens is that price is very close to this neckline now. So I don't really like uh, you know trading into this, right? Selling into this zone here, okay. So I'll be looking to sell for this week, but I want to make sure that this zone is broken, okay? If this zone is not broken, uh, then I will not uh, sell, okay? So I wait for this zone to be broken. I either take the uh, breakout down towards the recent low here. Let me just draw it, okay? Or I do the breakout retest, okay? Uh, it depends on how uh, the market moves, but uh, I am quite fixated on just shorting, on taking the bearish stand uh, rather than to do this, okay? I mean, it's possible that this happens, but uh, I much prefer to you know stick to a price breaking down. Okay, so that's for dollar cap. Now let's talk about Aussie dollar. Okay, so Aussie dollar right now, um, the entire week has been uh, you know it's been a pain. You see all this uh movement over here, this entire movement here, it's been very uh whippy. Okay, uh, in fact, we still have a position in uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, uh, our first take profit was hit. Uh, but we still have take profit two and take profit three uh, running. Okay, so uh, for Aussie dollar, let me just run you through the levels. Okay, let me just clear it up. Okay, so of course, uh, you have the recent high over here. We have one tap, we have two tap. So definitely, uh, you do expect price to test here. Okay, uh, you also have this uh, ascending trend line. Okay, so if price were to drop now, okay. Uh, the only level that I would consider buying would be somewhere on this trend line. Okay, uh, if it comes here, I would consider buying it up again. Okay, it might do something like this. I'm not too sure how the market will go. Okay, but uh, I'm more bullish on this. Okay, I would ideally want to buy. Okay, but uh, right now we are a little bit high. Okay, we are quite close to resistance level. Okay, so ideally, if you have not gotten into this trade then uh, it's better to just wait for the breakout and then we will test it down, okay? Uh, if you do see that the market breaks this right, then uh, you need to be very cautious because if this, this uh, trend line is broken, there are still a lot of horizontal levels to break, okay? There is uh, this zone of support here. So uh, if you do see that the market breaks down, uh, do not be, you know, do not be so anxious to short it down, you know? You see something like this and you are like, Oh, you know, it's broken down and shot it down and you know, there's support here and there's support here. Okay, so I'll be more keen to buy because there's less uh, resistance. Okay, there's only this level here and there is uh, this level over here, which is the recent high. Okay, you have less uh, barriers to overcome when you buy rather than when you short because when you short uh, this entire zone here, uh, it's, all, it's all support. Okay, so I don't like it. I prefer to uh, buy that. Okay, so make sure you take note of these levels. Okay, uh, so take note of this uh, 0 0.70 level because uh, that is uh, your round digit psychological resistance level. Okay, so let's talk about dollar yen. Okay, so dollar yen, uh, I previously warned about this. Okay, this is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Uh, I warned about this. Okay, last week's video, I warned that this was support because if you look left, this low is actually the uh, neck, uh, the, sorry, the left shoulder. Uh, line. Let me show it to you again. So switch over to the uh, line chart and uh, just connect it up here. Okay, and switch back. You will see that uh, price was supported just nice at the um, left shoulder. Okay, so USD Japan has clearly reversed. Okay, so it's definitely in an uptrend. We want to buy. Okay, but right now what happens is that, uh, you know, price broke out. You have this high, this high and this entire zone over here. Okay, it's into support right now. Okay, so right now uh, we're still monitoring for signs of, um, you know, for price to break out.
because it's still consolidating within this zone. So ideally, we want to wait for price to close above uh, 1.0764, right? Close above to resume the uptrend towards uh, this supply zone over here. So this is a supply zone. Okay, let me just draw it for you over here. So this is a supply zone. Just watch the departure of uh, this level. One, two, three, four, four nice bearish candles of this level. So um, 1.091 is a very strong level. Okay, so we want to see 107.63 being broken. And if that's broken, then we should see a nice move uh, to the upside. Okay, I'll be very cautious with uh, shorting. Okay, because shorting, there's a lot of support. There is uh, this over here. Okay, as I warned uh, in the previous video. And also this here, as well as of course the recent low. Okay, so uh, I don't really want to be um, shorting. Ideally, I want to be buying. Okay, I want to be buying a dollar yen. Okay, let's go to Euro Yen and finish off with uh, US 30. Okay, uh, Euro Yen is kind of in a mess. Okay, you have this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or rather this 1, 2, 3, 4 candles being stuck in the, this entire range of the candle. So what you can do in this kind of scenario is just highlight this entire candle, right? Because this is the maximum bear and this is the maximum bull strength, okay? So what you can do is you just map down this, okay? Uh, I, I do believe I talked about this uh, strategy before, I think in the high-low strategy uh, video in YouTube, okay? So if you have not checked that out, okay? If you are new, you, you haven't checked out our other videos, make sure you check out our other videos, okay? Because we record a lot of tips like this, Okay, tips that cost us thousands of dollars to learn. Okay, we make it all available for you for free. Okay, so there's no reason why, you know, you have to pay gurus thousands of dollars just to learn uh, when we have really recorded these videos for you. Okay, if you do not have much money to invest, then just watch our free, free YouTube videos because it's all there for you. You just need to put in the effort to learn, to master your craft, and then you'll become a profitable trader in no time. Okay, we can record these videos for you, but uh, we cannot watch them for you. We cannot internalize them for you. Okay, so that's where you have to do the heavy lifting. You have to watch this video. Okay, so make sure you binge watch other videos that you have if uh, you have not. Okay, so Euro Yen, uh, you have this high, you have this low. So price is now struggling within uh, this zone. Okay, so um, it's pretty straightforward for me. Uh, I will not trade in this range because I do not like to trade ranges. I'll just wait for price to break up or break down and then I'll look for a, a, a trade setup. Okay, I will not... Uh, trade within this zone because I just don't like trading in the zone, okay? So, another gentle reminder, okay, all this analysis are just levels. You need a trading strategy, okay? A trading strategy that tells you when to enter the market, when to exit the market, and when to take profit, okay? If you do not yet have a trading strategy, then make sure you check out our description below because we do teach, you know, the four-step system that we use, okay? It's free. You just need to open an account with our sponsoring brokerage. Just check that out, okay? If you do not want to do that and you want to you do use the three day trading guide strategy that we teach, you can also get that, okay, it's free of charge. Okay, so Euro Yen is pretty straightforward. Uh, we just wait for this entire zone to be broken, then we take a uh, position, okay, we will not force this trade. Okay, let's end off with uh, Dow Jones, okay. Dow Jones has also been very difficult to trade, okay, because uh, it's been, you know, it's been consolidating, okay. So of course you have this uh, low over here, you have this low here as well, Okay, let me just show it. And uh, you have this as well. You have this low here. So this low is kind of like the left uh, left shoulder. We hit the right shoulder. So I want to be cautious about this uh, uh, this spike low as well. Okay. So if in case you can't see it, you have the left shoulder here. You have the head and the potential right shoulder. Okay. Uh, except in this case, I want to take note of this spike low. I don't want to put it like this. Okay. I want to just shift it down and look at the spike low, okay? So uh, there's a lot of support, but there's also a lot of resistance, overhead resistance, like this level over here and all these uh, candle highs over here, okay? So it's, it's going to be very difficult to trade, okay? Uh, my advice would be to stay out of uh, Dow Jones, okay? Because uh, as I said, I don't like the trade ranges and this is a range play, okay? So if you want to short, uh, just make sure that uh, this support level is all broken. Ideally, you can break below this low, that would be even better. Okay, if you want to buy, then uh, make sure that uh, this entire zone is being broken. Okay, then uh, you take a position. Okay, uh, we will not 
we try to you know predict which way the market will break out in this range over here okay because it's going to be very stressful right you see your position in the green in the red in the green in the red uh, it's not something that i prefer i prefer the market to tell me which direction it prefers and then i just follow the line of least resistance Okay, so that's all the currency pairs that I uh, have for you today. If you have a particular currency pair that uh, you want, just leave a comment down below. Okay, so last week uh, we had this um, you know, giveaway so that you can have a free coaching call with me. Right, we have discussed with the team and that's something that uh, we want to start doing on a weekly basis right? because we want to understand what are your struggles so that we can create more awesome contents like this. Okay, so for this video, right, just follow the steps that I'll list in the uh, pin uh, message below. Just follow the steps, right? Each week, we'll choose a lucky subscriber to have a coaching call with uh, myself, right? And you just need to follow the steps. Just, uh, you know, um, like, the, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know what you need help with in the comment section. And, uh, you, you know, we'll, you might stand a chance to win a coaching call with me, right? Where I'll go through and address any of the problems you have, any challenges. I can even take a look at your training strategy and give you some advice on that, okay? And that's all free. You just need to enter in and just help us to grow as a channel, right? Because uh, we're trying to hit more traders. We're trying to share our knowledge with the world and uh, we could use your help uh, to help impact more traders, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you gotten value out of this video, right? Remember to leave a comment down below. Okay, I'll see you in the Telegram channel and we'll be sending out uh, more signals uh, for this week. Okay, so trade safe, manage your risk and we'll see you in the Telegram channel.